焼きそばを作ります焼きそばのポイントの一つはこの札幌一番っていうラーメンとマルちゃん製麺というラーメンが二種類ありますこっちの方は細麺こっちの方は太麺です焼きそばとかスパゲティとかはこの大きめの麺マルちゃん製麺これをおすすめしますラーメンの場合はこれで十分美味しいですでもスパゲティの時にはこれ焼きそばの時にはこれと覚えてください僕は日本で70店舗のラーメン屋さんを昔やっていましたその時にいろいろなラーメンを研究しましたその時のいろんなノウハウを皆さんにお知らせしますまだまだ20種類30種類ぐらいのラーメンを作ってやっていこうと思っています皆さん今日はとにかく焼きそばを作ります焼きそば美味しいです頑張って作りましょうどうも Yakisoba is a Japanese stir fry dish. Usually, soba means buckwheat, but soba in yakisoba means Chinese noodle made from wheat flour and typically flavored with a condiment similar to Worcestershire sauce, also known as u s t e r sauce in Japanese. Yakisoba was first appeared in food s t a l l in Japan during the early 20th century. So, for today's ingredients, we need one m a r u t a n semen s h o y u ramen, one egg, 70 grams of cabbage, 170 grams of bean sprouts. 75 grams of pork belly and 25 grams of k a m a b o k o And for sauce, we need 20 grams of water, 10 grams of sake, 15 grams of soy sauce, one soup base, and 15 grams of Worcestershire sauce. So, before we start, we're going to prepare our poached egg. We're going to put the egg in the instant noodle cup, pour hot water into the line, and let it sit for 20 minutes. First, we're going to make our sauce. We're going to combine our soup base, soy sauce, oyster sauce, sake, and water, and stir till it's completely combined. And now we're going to cut our pork. We're going to flatten the pork and cut it in half. Stack and cut it in half again. And now for the cabbage, we're going to cut the core, cut it into thin slices, and cut it in half again. And now for the kamaboko, we're going to cut it into 1 cm slices. Stack and cut it into strips. And now, in the boiling water, we're going to boil our noodle in high heat for three minutes. And now, in another pan, we're going to add our oil and we're going to cook our pork in mild heat until it's golden brown. Once it looks like this, we're going to add our cabbage and cook it in mild heat until the cabbage is soft. And now, we're going to add our kamaboko and stir fry for around one minute. Once your noodle is cooked, we're going to join the excess water, and now in a new pan, we're going to add our oil and our noodle. Flatten out and add more oil around the sides. And we're going to cook it for around 10 minutes in mild heat until it's golden and crispy. Once it looks like this, we're going to flip it to the other side and let it cook for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, add our condiments and our bean sprouts on top of the noodle. And add our sauce in with the noodle. And we're going to cover it until the sauce is soaked into the noodle. Once it's soaked, we're going to break up the noodle. And lastly, we're going to cook it in high heat for 10 seconds for better flavor.
viu rico namorar pobre? Wow, it looks super good. Yeah. This is yucky so <laughs> This is my old time favorite. Mmm. <laughs> wow. I have no words. Like the, 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 there's a flavor in the noodles. The sauce is like sucked into the noodle, mm. which makes it really tasty. Crispy and soft at the same time. It's a really good combination. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to make it crispy because that's what ma makes the sauce suck into the noodles. Yeah, look. The color, As you can look, see, look yeah, the color. color is really different from before. It's really brown. That's because the sauce got sucked into the, the noodle. Yeah. That's what makes it really brown. It's not like coated, it's sucked in. It's sucked in, not coated. So like the flavor is still stuck into that noodle. Pork is crispy, the pork is crispy. It's also important to make your pork crispy it'll make it much better. Sprouts is already crunchy when it's raw, so it's better to cook it after everything. So it's, the crunchiness from the sprouts will stay. Just from one pack of ramen, it is good for two because there's so many vegetables inside. It's really, um, it really makes you full enough. The size of a one pack of ramen. With a lot of veggies. There is a famous uh, yakisoba sauce called otafuku yakisoba sauce but this makes it really really good because there's a secret ingredient and that is the soy sauce it really changes the game it will bring more flavor and it's really good there's also sake inside so that's what make it accent because usually um, there's a brand called otafuku that's had like three types um, the okonomiyaki, takoyaki, and yakisoba for otafuku and that's just like different from what you put in soy sauce and like you know it gives more accent to that accent to that yakisoba. So upcoming video we have a saba ramen. There's saba, uh, uh, it's a kind of fish, it's called saba. It's a Japanese fish, it's really famous and it's going to be combined with the ramen. It's going to be super good. That's so, interesting to hear from. Yeah, saba it's not really ramen. common. Yeah, but you really know. The food, the cooking is all about your creation. What is that? We, what we're showing is like what that is about it. It's really delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, you're about to see it. Saba ramen. Like, it's interesting to see. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to hit that link button so you can get more notifications from us. And I, it was really good. It was mind blowing. I mean, I loved it. It's really crunchy. And then the flavor, like, just goes into your face. I don't know how to explain it, it's just